Hello, what's up? Ari here. And today we are going to show you how to load PS3 games on our jailbroken PS3. I will assume that we have already jailbroken our PS3. And if not, I have already left a link on our description on how to install and or jailbreak our PS3. Please uh, go ahead and check it first. And uh, once you have uh, jailbroken your PS3, you may go ahead and proceed on this video. I'm sorry if I won't be able to share links of uh, PS3 games or sites uh, where to download them. But a simple uh, Google PS3 game downloads will definitely definitely do the job now once we have our games here uh, they are saved on the pc we can either use an external hard drive uh, to load them on the ps3 or transfer them uh, from the pc using an ftp just a simple note that there are games that has some big files uh, and you will have uh, to install them on the ps3 first before they work properly there is an option to install partial files but i would strongly recommend to install them on the ps3 instead later i will show you how to check if a game has a big files or not let us start uh, with uh, using ftp to transfer our games uh, on our ps3 and for this we are going to need our ps3 to be in the same network of our pc or laptop or whatever system we are using then we are going to need an ftp client uh, on our description we are going to leave a link over to download this file so just open the link uh, and uh, click on uh, this area it should download the file and uh, since i already have it here installed i don't have uh, to download it again but after you download the file just install and run the program and once you have installed ftp just click on this part here and here on the host we are going to enter the ip address of our ps3 to check the ip address uh, go to the network settings and the settings and connection status list and this is our ip address and on the port we are going to use a 21 then uh, you can go ahead and choose whatever option you have here all you have to do is uh, just fill up this area and choose connect and you will know that uh, your ps3 is now connected to your pc if you can access the files of your ps3 so let us go ahead and open the dev hdd0 and here we can see here the uh, subfolders on our ps3 and our games uh, should be transferred in the folder games or games so let us go ahead now and open the folder where we have our ps3 games so here make sure your games uh, are not uh, installed or not saved in another folder and to check that uh, once you open the folder you should uh, see these files this is the file that we need uh, to transfer on our ps3 so let's just pick another game let us go ahead and uh, choose this one okay and let's transfer this in the games folder then just make sure that we successfully transfer the files and if you find uh, some uh, field uh, transfers here um, just highlight the files right click and reset and queue all and just wait for the whole process to complete so uh, once uh, the transfer has been completed we can go ahead now and back to our ps3 but i forgot to mention that we also have uh, to enable the ftp on our ps3 unless you have a webman installed on your ps3 and as you can see here i have my webman and the webman also activates or enables your ftp but if you don't have any webman installed just uh, run multiman and it will activate your ftp and once you have multiman you may now go ahead and start the transfer but you may want to double check the ftp client uh, if it's uh, working or if it's enabled on your multiman and you can do that here here on the ftp service it should be on enable and uh, no timeout and since we have already transferred the game, we may now go ahead and uh, launch the game by highlighting the game and uh, press X. And uh, it should bring us back here on the main menu or the cross media board and the game will mount on the CD. Now you can uh, go ahead and launch the game uh, on the CD. So now let us uh, try to load uh, a game using an external hard drive. on our pc we have uh, to make sure that our hard drive is uh, formatted uh, on fat32 if it's anything uh, aside from fat32 then we have uh, to format our hard drive 
So just uh, right click on the hard drive and click on properties and on the file system FAT32. If it's anything but FAT32, we have uh, to format it first to FAT32 before we can use it as an external hard drive. And uh, to do that, we'll uh, need a FAT32 formatter. And again, we'll just leave a link on our description of where to download this uh, file. So just open the link and uh, click on this area. And again, I don't have to download this since I already have this on my PC. You don't have uh, to install this one. So after we have downloaded this file, just run uh, the program. So on this part, you can choose here the drive that you want to format on FAT32. This is our file. Just make sure you have uh, the correct drive here because formatting the hard drive will erase all of its content. So make sure that you have uh, uh, that you have backed up all of your important files or you will definitely lose them. So I just click on this area, then initialize drive. But I will not do this since I already have uh, this uh, hard drive loaded with games. But uh, this is what you have to do. First, initialize the drive, then click here again. Then uh, uh, check the quick format, then start. This should format your hard drive to FAT32. And after you format your hard drive, create a folder games. Again, you can either use games with S or games with Z. So let us uh, just create two folders. And let us open our folder with our PS3 games. So let's uh, uh, place one of the folders here. And another game on this folder. Now after the transfer, let us uh, go back in our PS3. First, we have uh, to make sure that our PS3 um, recognizes the hard drive. And uh, you can uh, verify that here. Uh, anywhere on the video or the music or the photo, you should see the USB device icon here. And if you're, if you're not getting any icon here, then uh, most probably your USB or your external hard drive is formatted on a different format. So you have to make sure that uh, the file system should be on FAT32. To check the game, let us go ahead now and enter Multiman. And on your Multiman, you should automatically um, see the games that we have downloaded here. And as you can see, we have here the games, or two of the games. One of the games here we have uh, placed in the games with the S folder. And one of the games here we have uh, placed on the games with the Z folder. But if you don't see uh, any of your games here, just refresh Multiman. And after refreshing Multiman, if you still can't find your games here, then again, you should double check if uh, your game is uh, not uh, saved or is not placed uh, on an extra folder. Now, I have uh, mentioned earlier that uh, if a game has a big file, it should be installed on the PS3 for it to work properly. And to check if the game has a big file or not, just uh, press triangle on the file, then uh, click on the test. And here you will see if there are any big files or split files. If there is any big or split files, you should install them on the PS3 first before it can work properly or at least convert them to ISO. Now let me go ahead and show you how we can convert the game in ISO format. First, press start and select on your controller here. And you should be able to get to this part. This is like the file manager of your PS4. And enter the folder where the games that we want to transfer. Now let us try converting Guitar Hero 3. Now highlight the game and press circle and press on copy. Now we should uh, paste this in the ISO folder. And the ISO folder is uh, this one, the PS3 ISO. Press circle and click on paste an ISO. This will convert the game to ISO. So if your game has a big or split file, converting it to ISO will also uh, fix uh, your game or uh, will make it uh, work. And uh, you will know if a game is in ISO format, if you can see the icon here, you will see there is a CD icon on top of the title of the game. This NBA 2K18 here is on ISO format. So let us say you want your game to be placed on the main menu or the uh, cross media board of your PS3 like this one. So say for example, uh, this uh, Castlevania, I don't need uh, any uh, game manager. I don't need Multiman or a Webman or any man to load this game i just have uh, to open my ps3 i like the game and the select and uh, to do that your game must be on injected format and actually we have a separate video how to inject games i will uh, also leave a link in our description how to inject games on the ps3 please uh, go ahead and check that video if you want your games uh, 
to be placed on the main menu or on the cross media board of your PS3. So this is it for our video. If you have any questions uh, or any concerns regarding this topic, uh, please uh, do let me know on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And if you found uh, this uh, video helpful, please uh, go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, again, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.